get it. I'm 57 years old, first time I've ever been homeless. Yes, sir. It has opened up my eyes to how cruel the world can be. Yes, sir. If it was not for the African American community and the Latino community, I would have starved to death by now. Man, because I got you. white people are cruel and and they're not kind. Black people have fed me, let me come in their home, gave me a shower, let me sleep on their couch, bought me underwear, socks, and clothes, and I'm so grateful yes, to the African American community. God bless y'all. God bless you, man. Hey, I'll see you soon. Now, as you can see in this video, this brother is making this video to show how this white man has been treated by black people and brown people and Mexicans versus his own people, white people. And he's saying white people are evil. They are not kind, but black people have kind. They, they are kind. They have clothed me. They have fed me. They have took me in into their own house. They, they let me take a shower in their house. This is something that is virtually unheard of. You know, can you imagine a homeless black man or Mexican man in um, a white person allows them to come into their own home and take a shower. I can understand them giving them something to drink or something like that, but let, allow them to come inside and treat them with such hospitality. Uh, the thing that I'm, I want to bring out about this video is number one is this brother that's doing this video. It, <sighs> What is the reason to show or put this man on here to speak good about black people? Who is he trying to show this to? Who does he really, truly want to see this? Is it black people that he wants to see this? Is it Mexican people that he wants to see this? Or is it white people that he wants to see this? I'm trying to like go into the psychology of you know, how we in our community get so excited when Caucasian people give us compliments or say great things about us. These things we already know are in us. We are the people who are enslaved. We were sexually assaulted. We were unalived. We were lynched from trees. We were set afire. We were dismembered by lynch mobs. Our towns were burnt down because of he, she, he, he say, she say, discriminated against, uh, opportunities taken from us, Patents stolen for inventions because we couldn't afford to pay for the patents. All of these things that I'm naming have happened to the black community, but yet we still show love to the people who did it. We still praise Jesus and, and, and believe that the people that done these things to our ancestors will be holding hands side by side in heaven. We still show a, a level of compassion, of sympathy, and empathy that no other race has ever shown to us. Maybe individuals, but as a group of people, no race has shown the type of love that black people and brown people show to the children of their oppressors. That's real. That's black authentic truth. No one shows the same type of empathy and sympathy and compassion and kindness to us as a people. We don't even hold a grudge. Now, imagine if it would have been another people that have went through everything we went through. It would be World War Three every day. And I'm not saying for black people to take up arms or do any violence, but I'm just saying, look at the type of uh, attitude we have. Look at the outlook that we have as a group of people. Hell, we're more likely to treat one another like we've done those things to each other in the past than 
treat another race like that. So what this brother is showing is something that he want white folks to see and say, look at us. We're compassionate. We're kind. But shouldn't they have seen that a hundred years ago? Shouldn't they have seen that 200 years ago that this people don't want revenge. This people just want to be able to live in harmony with us. So videos like this, I don't understand Well, I do understand, but a video like this to show me, well, to exhibit a, 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 a Caucasian man saying how good he's been treated, his, his, his first actual, see, because if he wasn't homeless, he probably never would have been in a situation where he has to ask a, a black or brown person for anything. But he's saying how great black people are and how they treated him in comparison to his people who are not kind and who are evil and selfish and not willing to share. You don't have to tell us how compassionate and considerate we are about other people. We were the people that were enslaved, that were treated all types of way, and still just wanted to be accepted. 